New weapon detectors have been installed inside Michigan's 145-year-old State Capitol building, the latest steps being taken by the Capitol Commission in response to threats against lawmakers. Rachel Louise Just shows us what you can expect to see on your next visit to the Capitol. Michigan's heart of government is putting up some walls, small ones, which can detect weapons on visitors, lawmakers, and staff. On Tuesday, security officers say these new weapons detection systems were installed at every entrance to the state capitol building and Heritage Hall. You'll walk into the capitol and almost immediately upon entrance, you'll see these right here. This is weapons detection technology. You'll be able to walk through it like you would in a retail store. You won't have to empty your pockets, but one thing you won't be able to bring inside is any kind of firearm. Guns, both concealed and open carry, are now banned inside the state house. So are knives and other weapons. The Capitol Commission made the decision to keep all guns out of the building in February. Open carry has been banned since January 2021 in the wake of the January 6th attack on the Capitol in D.C. When I talked with Capitol Commission Chair Bill Candler in June, he said the Capitol, which hosts every state lawmaker on a busy session day, was the least secure building in state government. As much as I do not like the idea of having having to limit access to the building. Uh, we, we know the reality of the world today is that we have to do it. We have to keep people safe. Lawmakers, like visitors, will be banned from bringing guns to the Capitol. Some lawmakers, particularly Republicans, have been outspoken about the new bans, saying they violate the Second Amendment. 34 other states have banned firearms on Capitol grounds, according to a 2021 analysis by the Council of State Governments. In Lansing, Rachel Louise Just.